I'm Mike Sogol, and welcome to the How To RV Seminars, where we will learn all about RV electrical preparedness. This episode is about overheated extension cords. If you've read any of the No Shock Zone articles, you'll see that using too skinny of an extension cord to power your RV can result in trouble. Of course, you'll get a significant voltage drop, which can cause appliances to malfunction, but perhaps more importantly, your skinny extension cords can overheat. Just how much overheating can you get with a 16 gauge extension cord? Well, let's see. From the chart, you can see that a 16 gauge wire is rated for a maximum of 12 amps of current. So I'm going to turn on and adjust the current flow of this cable to 10 amps. At that amount of current flow, all is well and there's not much temperature rise. Let's do a quick look. Sitting just above the ambient, about 84 degrees, that seems reasonable. However, if we adjust the current up to 30 amps, which simulates what can happen if you use a skinny extension cord on a 30 amp dog bone adapter and turn on even a few appliances such as a toaster and a hair dryer, in just a few minutes the temperature will rise on the extension cord to the boiling point of water and beyond. We're starting at a room temperature around 85 degrees, but if overloaded it can easily get hot enough to boil water or perhaps catch on fire. You can see on the infrared thermometer that in just five minutes, the surface temperature of the cable has exceeded 190 degrees, which is too hot to handle, seriously. Uh, left to its own devices, in just a few more minutes, it could easily get hot enough to melt and catch on fire. The lesson here is that you should use an extension cord rated for the maximum amps your RV can pull from the power pedestal. So if you have a 30 amp shore power plug on your RV, you should use an extension cord rated for 30 amps. And don't use multiple extension cords to extend the length of run if possible. Your best choice is a heavy duty 25 foot 10 gauge extension cord rated for a full 30 amps of current, which will result in very little voltage drop. This will cost you a little more money, but that's well worth the expenditure since it's not only safer from fire hazards, but your RV appliances will operate more efficiently. Thanks for watching the How To RV videos. Please subscribe to this channel for more information on RV electrical preparedness. I'm Mike Sokol. See you next time.